Hello everyone and welcome back. In this video, we're going to install some NPM packages and practice using them. The first thing we need to do is to make a new directory. So let's go ahead and first let's remove the my file and remove readme because we're just cleaning up a little bit. So now there's nothing inside of week eight. So let's make a directory. Um, we'll just call it my directory, or my app, I guess. My app, and then let's cd into that. And now we're going to install the, our first npm package. Now let me pull up the docs for it, and it's a silly one. One-liner joke. It's a simple node module that can provide one light, a one-line joke randomly or from a specific tag. It contains a bunch of jokes. So here in the documentation, all you have to do is install it. Now this is the old installation instructions. You used to have to type dash dash save. You don't have to do that anymore. You'll notice this was published two years ago, so it's an older one. But let's just copy the new installation, npm i one-liner joke. And that's exactly what it is. If you paste it in there, you can see npm i one-liner joke. The anatomy of this command, npm, is the command. i is the first command, which stands for install. And the second, the third part that you put on there is the name of the package. In this case, one-liner joke. And these package names are always lowercase. They're always a single word. And they're always unique. There's only ever going to be one one-liner joke or one express or whatever. So we hit enter. NPM will query the registry, find that. And now we, you'll notice here we've got a few warnings, a few notices, but you don't have to worry about those. But one thing I do want to point out, if I look inside of my app, I now have a couple things that weren't there before. Because it was, it had nothing in there. But now it has a package lock.json and node modules. This node modules folder is where all of the dependencies will be. Here's one liner joke. If there were other um, files or other NPM packages that were needed for one-liner joke, they would be in here too. You'll notice one-liner joke has no dependencies, so they weren't installed. But also you have package lock.json. Package lock is something that you should never, ever, ever open, never edit, never do anything with. It basically um, kind of tracks the state of your application. So just realize, just, just understand that it's important. It needs to be there, but you don't ever want to touch it, because if you do, you could really, really break something badly. So now that we've installed it and we have our app.js, let's go ahead and use it. So we've got to, first thing we've got to do is we have to import it into our code. So const, I'm going to call it joke, equals require one-liner joke. So we've taken all the stuff from that one-liner joke, and we've set it equal to the constant joke. Basically what that does, this, this require right here, it searches through node modules to if it's there, it'll look through that folder, find the, the, the right part of the code, the part of the code that we need, and then sets it equal to whatever constant we give it. And we can call this constant anything. We can call it one-liner. We can call it whatever we want. I'm going to call it joke. Const joke equals require one-liner joke. So it looks like, and let's look at the documentation. Random joke format. So it looks like we can just call joke.getRandomJoke as a method. So let's make a new const my joke equals joke dot get random joke and then let's console dot log my joke. So now that we have our little tiny program using this random joke, let's run it. Node app.js and it sent back this JSON. Body, what did the elephant say to his girlfriend? I love you a ton. Hardy, hardy, hard. So it's a stupid joke, but I didn't write any of this. So this is code that somebody else wrote that I'm able to use by simply using the node package. So now that we've done that, let's get rid of all this mess and do a package that actually is useful instead of something that does silly jokes. npm i casual. NPM I, remember NPM is the is the command, I is the option for install, casual is the name of the package. So let's install that. While that's installing, let's go look up the documentation for it. Casual. You can see here casual is a fake data generator. It allows you to generate random data that you can use to test your stuff. It has all kinds of stuff. It's got addresses, texts, Internet things, it's got people, first name, last name, it's got a bunch of numbers, it's got dates, payments, miscellaneous, it got all kinds of stuff in here that you can generate. So this should be done installing by now, sure is. Let's clear our console. And now we have to basically do the same thing 
we're going to do const casual equals require casual. And remember this require will search through the node modules, which right here, and find the thing named that, find the directory named whatever we pass in, named casual, which is right there, and it will get the part of the code that we need and set it equal to the constant that we give it. Now one thing I hope you notice is that when we npm i casual, it did not just install casual, it also installed these other two, moment and mersane twister, whatever that is, because those are the dependencies of casual. So now that we've got this, we need to get the syntax for it. So it looks like it's just casual.sentence, casual.city, casual.whatever. So let's say we wanted to, to get a bunch of people. Let's say we had an application that is um, kind of showing data from people or something like that, and we want to be able to test this with a bunch of different data. So let's get a bunch of people. Let people equal an empty array. And then for i equals zero, i is less than, I don't know, let's get 20 people. i plus plus people dot push casual dot full name. I think that's the syntax for it. Let's find it. No, where's person? Casual dot full name. Yeah, casual dot full name. And this will, there we go. And then we want to console.log people. What this is going to do is it's going to loop through 20 times and push new full name onto this array. That's the idea. So node app.js. There we go. Gave us a bunch of fake data. All these people's first and last names. This Now we have some test data that we can use, and we didn't have to generate it ourselves. We didn't have to come up with a bunch of different people's names or just smash our fingers on the keyboard for a while. We have actual usable data quickly and easily. Now I have a quick challenge for you. What I'd like you to do is, using Casual on your own machine, create an array of objects. So let's um, output equal an empty array. What I want you to do is use Casual to populate this array with objects of random data with the following keys. And the keys for this object, this object should be structured as follows. First name, last name, address, state abbreviation, so credit card number, credit card expiration. So if we were to populate this, we might do Josh, Christine, one, two, three, any street, SC, one, two, three, four, one, two, four, one, two, four, one, two, four. And then the expiration will be, I don't know, 12, 1. I think that's the format it comes in. Let's see, we need payments, expiration, yeah, like that. All right, and that's the format that I would like that object to be in. So give that a try, pause the video, do it on your own. It's very important that you try this first. Don't just sit here and watch me do it. You're just hurting yourself in the long run. Try it. If you fail, that's awesome. Look at the documentation and try it again. If you get stuck, do some Googling and try it again. If you're still stuck, you can watch the solution. But I expect everybody in here to be able to do this without really too terribly much trouble after some Googling and some documentation reading. So pause the video. All right, welcome back. Hopefully you did a great job and were able to knock that out. So let's just go ahead and do this ourselves. We're going to populate this data to four let i equals zero, i is less than 10, i plus plus. We want to output dot push. And now we're setting up our object. Now we said um, first name is casual dot first name. I'm gonna put this over on the side like that so I can see it, put that over there. Make that a bit smaller. Okay, so we want person, first underscore name, 
last name is casual dot last underscore name. Address is casual dot I assume it's just address. Yeah. Casual dot address. State abbreviation is casual dot state underscore a b b r. Then credit card number is casual dot that was down here card number if no vendor specified then random okay we don't we don't need a vendor I don't know if it's going to require the parentheses or not but we'll look into that we'll cross that bridge when we come to it and then credit card expiration is casual dot card exp so theoretically this should work let's give it a go and then we want to console dot log output so we can see it let's try it all right first name last name address credit card number function babcon number so it looks like we do have to call this save and try it again there we go perfect so first name last name address state abbreviation credit card number credit card expiration and we have an entire array full of those in this video we talked about installing npm packages and how to use them we talked about the npm i npm i for install and then whatever the package name here and that will install it we talked about how npm will automatically check for dependencies and make sure they're installed for us and up to date whenever we update our packages we then installed a couple npm packages the first was a silly one one liner joke the second one was casual which is a way to fake data and to get a bunch of fake random data and then we went through and had you actually use that reading the documentation to create an array of people in their fake data. If you have any questions, please let me know. I'll be happy to help. Thanks.